Hello guys and welcome back. I hope God is blessing you well and that you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. And I thank you for finding this channel. I love you guys. And today I will be going over my top 10 niche fragrances for my collection. See you on the other side. I will not be ranking any of these in order but stay to the end, I will give you my top three, and one of them might surprise you. As you know, fragrances are subjective, so today, these might be my top 10, and one or two weeks from now, I might have another list, but as of today, this is my top 10 fragrances from niche brands. First up, we have Melisome Imperial from Creed. I know Sean John has a fragrance that's similar, I don't understand why more houses didn't clone this fragrance because it's a nice summer spring fragrance. At the top, you're gonna get like this sweet melon, you're gonna get some orange notes, you're gonna get some musk, you're gonna get some ambergris. Now this is very nice for the spring, the summer. I can see NH wearing this. This is a very nice scent. Up next, this is from the House of Bun. And yes, it's marketed towards women. And yes, I do wear some women's fragrances. Like I say, if it smells good on you, then you wear it. And this scent has got me more compliments from ladies than some of my male scents. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. And that is Bond Number no. 9, Nuits de Nuvo. Now this is a lovely pineapple scent. You get some fruity notes. You're going to get some musk. You're going to get some jasmine. You're going to get some a, a light patchouli. But this is mostly... Pineapple, fruity, with some musk, and some light patchouli. Now this is very nice. To me, it's a unisex fragrance. I can imagine women wearing this, and it would smell so good. But I wear it, and I get a lot of compliments. It's very fresh, clean, fruity, with that musk in the background. Light patchouli, this is a very nice scent. Bun number nine. New it the new home. I had a hard time choosing between this and another one, but the one that I chose is Meander. Now this you're gonna get a very creamy sandalwood. You're gonna get some earthy orange root that's not pottery. You also gonna get some spices. You're gonna get a little pepper with the right amount of sweetness with the vanilla, slight touch of amber. Now this is a very nice summer, spring, fall scent. Maybe even winter if you apply the sprays right. This is a very nice scent. I advise you to check it out. Meander, I'm watch. Up next, this is a house that I think is underrated, but it has some very nice scents. And if you want to get into niche fragrances, they are not very expensive. And this is coming from the house of Search Lutons. That's five o'clock gingerbread. Now what you're gonna get with this, you're gonna get like this cookie of core. You're gonna get some cinnamon, some ginger that give it spice. You're gonna get some honey. You're gonna get some amber and a slight bit of patchouli. Now this is a nice gourmand scent that's not too heavy. It's sweet. It's got some woods in it. But most of all, you're gonna get like this cookie of core, kind of like gingerbread. This is a very nice scent, very underrated scent from a very underrated house. I advise you to check it out. Five o'clock gingerbread. Search Blue Time. Next is from one of my favorite houses, and that's Montel Oud Tobacco. The tobacco in this is like a kinetic leaf that's kind of dry, smooth tobacco. You're gonna get some honey, you're gonna get some spices. It's very sweet and an accord that makes it kind of chocolatey. This is very nice. Ooh, tobacco, Montel. Now coming up next, this is more of a challenging scent, but I like challenging scents. And this is coming from the house of Nasamato, and that's Black Afghano. What you're gonna get with this, you're gonna get like a, a spicy cannabis note that's green, very dark, ambery, Spicy, resinous, 
You got the right amount of sweetness, the right amount of smokiness. Perfect blend. And this thing will project off your feet. So go light on the trigger and you will receive compliments. But the ones who like challenging fragrances, very nice and lovely scent. Black Afghano. Up next, this is another underrated house. And this is another underrated scent. Matter of fact, the, the ratings on this is not high, but it's one of my favorite scents, especially for the spring, the summer. And that fragrance is coming from the house of Histories, Bee Parfums, not another blue scent. You're gonna get some orange. You're gonna get some like musky notes. You're gonna get some spice from the geranium. And you're gonna get this honey note that makes it smooth. And then it's, it's fruity. And then it's all aldehydes. This is a very nice summer scent that's very unique. This house don't get enough credit or enough recognition, but this is a very nice scent. Any age can wear this. It's a unisex scent, I think. It's perfect with the musk, the sweetness. Check it out, not another boo. Now we're getting down to my favorite three, uh, and the one that number one, it might surprise you. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button so you won't miss content. If nothing else, interact with your boy. I love discussing fragrances, or if you just want to talk and chat about anything else, comment down below, and I promise you I'll get back with you. And speaking of which, my next video, if you don't want to spend money on niche fragrances, I will have my top 10 designer fragrances coming up on my next video. So stay tuned. But let's get back to this show. And this is one of my most complimented fragrances. Every time I wear this, I, I receive tons of compliments, and this is no lie. Because nobody's talking about this, but if you get it, you wear it lightly, I guarantee you, you will get compliments. And that fragrance is from the house of Montel white oud now this is one of the fragrances that i didn't blind buy i received a sample from ordering other montels when i first wore this i went to a party i had this little sample vial and i just doused myself i was going to atlanta which is about an hour and a half drive away from me so i, I had this vial i put on a couple of dabs and so we was going to this party and I'm like, I want to stand out. So when I got to my destination, I put some more on it and I choked out everybody in the room. Now with this, you're going to get, you're going to get some sandalwood that makes it smooth and creamy. You're going to get some oud. You're going to get some vanilla. You're also going to get some saffron and you're going to get this smooth amber. Now this is very smooth, creamy sweet scent with the right amount of oud that give it a slight bit of smokiness. You will receive compliments. Matter of fact, I wore this the other day and I just knew this guy. He always asks me what I'm wearing when I wear this. But this is a very nice complimented scent. Very smooth, creamy, woody with the oud, smooth with the sandalwood with some touch of vanilla. Very nice. Check it out. Montel White Oud. If you watch my channel, you probably knew this was gonna make my list. But I was deciding between this and my favorite at this time. But right now it's Oud Lemon Mint Mancero. Now this is one of my most complimented fragrances. At the top, you're gonna get some fruity citruses. Then you're gonna get the smooth almond. You're gonna get the right amount of Oud. You're gonna get a slight bit of mint, which is not prominent. You're also gonna get some amber, some vetiver, and musk that makes it very musky in the base. All that blended together makes a very nice, complimented scent with the right amount of oud, the right amount of spices. Guaranteed to get your compliments. One of my favorites from the house, Macera Oud Lemon Mint. This is my favorite as of now, coming from the House of Rogue. Shipe Sion. Most stripes are very pottery, old lady like, but this is very nice. It has jasmine left with this leathery oak moss that makes it not in the same realm as most stripes. It's very nice. It's leathery. 
It's green, it's spicy, it's clean, it's classy. One of the top scents out there. If you haven't tried it, you need to check it out. Shite Sion from the House of Rose. Speaking of house, if you want to see my top 10 from Macera, click here. Top 10 from Montel, click here. YouTube wants you to watch this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.